Six subjects up there. TJ, which one do you like the best? Math. Math. But it's up to you, Henry. Math! Oh. Come on, Henry! Math! 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 How are you at measurements? I'm good at that. And measurements? Let's yeah. try measurements. Right. Measurements going all the way to the top. All right. Yeah, let's knock that one off. It's worth okay. $7,500. Here is our fourth grade measurements question. A sesquicentennial is an anniversary that marks the passage of how many years? A sesquicentennial is an anniversary that marks the passage of how many years? TJ has locked in his answer. What are you thinking, Henry? I, I, I'm thinking, I don't even know that word. A, ses, a, a sesquicentennial centennial is 100. OK. But that's not the question at all. Oh. I've got some cheats left, and I think I'm gonna have to go to go to those. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have to go to the copy because if I peek, I'm gonna take it anyway because I am clueless. Um, I am gonna go the copy. Oh, I hope you're good, TJ. Oh, I hope you're good. It's what the world needs is a clueless pastor. <laughs> Sesqui. What would you have guessed if he hadn't been here? Seth sounds like six, maybe, or seven. Um, 700 years? 700 is actually absolutely wrong. OK, good. Good. It's not even so close. I would have been absolutely wrong. You would have been absolutely wrong. I have no clue. I don't even know that word. But I bet you this, I bet for the rest of your life, you'll remember what it means. I guarantee that. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping TJ learned that this year. I'm really, really hoping he learned that this year. Sesqui means one and a half. So it's 150 years? It is exactly 150 oh, I'm years. Oh, hoping, I'm hoping TJ knew that. If TJ said 150 years, you've got $12,500. If he said anything else, we're back to zero. Back to zero. And I'm sure you're very big on forgiveness, right? I, I am. Hey, I, I didn't know it. But you know what? I'm not going to have to. He's going to know it. And Take a look at the board. Your 10-year-old classmate said 35 oh. years. Hey, that's OK, man. That's OK. I had we'll no clue either. We'll Next time. Next back. time. You know it. We'll get it back. We'll get the money back. Woo. I like your attitude. OK. Because this one's ours. Chuck Yeager was the first American pilot to break the speed of sound barrier. Not the first one to cross the Atlantic. OK, we've still got a lot of money All up right. there, 12500 yeah. Four subjects remain. What would you like next? Okay, okay. Armand is good at measurements. So okay. I'm gonna do measurements. Your fourth grade measurements, okay. This one's worth seven thousand five hundred dollars. Here is the question. The amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit is measured in BTUs. What three words do the letters BTU stand for? The amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit is measured in BTUs. What three words do the letters BTU stand for? Armand has locked in his answer. I don't want to use up my last cheat, and you know what? I think I am going to use it. No, no, I'm sorry. Can I be indecisive? Sure. You're, okay. a, you're a woman, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I live in a house full of them. I should know. <laughs> Honey, which shoes look better? These are these. <laughs> she shouldn't ask you. I just mess with her. I'm like, I don't know. Do it again. These <laughs> are these. OK. What do you think? I, I think I'm just going to lock in a a no answer. Can we well, do that? Throw something out there. Guess. OK. BTU. BTU, by the unit. By the unit. Locking it in. All combustible materials measures the BTUs. I can't believe you just guessed that. Is it really? By the unit. Unit is correct. Oh. By the is not. It oh. is British thermal unit. British thermal unit, BTUs. What we I think we're going to go with fourth grade math. Fourth yeah. grade math it is. Yep. For $7,500, here is the fourth grade math question. 
If you multiply a three-digit integer by another three-digit integer, the product will have a maximum of how many digits? If you multiply a three-digit integer by another three-digit integer, the product will have a maximum of how many digits? Okay. I believe that you will have a one, two, three, four, five, six, five-digit number. I believe you'll have a five-digit number. I'm locking it in. Oh, man. See what happens here. If you multiply a three-digit integer by another three-digit integer, the product will have a maximum of how many digits? Let's take a look at the board. The largest three-digit integer is 999. So if you multiplied 999 by 999, you would get 998. 001, which is a six-digit six number. number. And when you first did it out, you went one, two, three, three four, four, five, uh, six. six. I sure did. Our contestant, Shelly Hartman, had a whole bunch of money and gave it back, but now we're on the comeback trail. We're not giving money back anymore, are we? You got $3,500. Three subjects remain, Shelly. I have to go with math. Got to get the math out of the way. Are you good yeah, at math? No. No? No. Be good at this one. For $7,500, here's the math question. The fraction 1 16th is equal to what percent? The fraction 1 16th is equal to what percent? All right, Madison has locked in her answer. What are you thinking, Shelly? Oh, I hate math. That's what I'm thinking. Um, Talk it out. Yeah, I was thinking 1 10th is 10%. One tenth of a hundred is ten percent. So it seems like one sixteenth would be less than that, more like six percent. And that's what I'm thinking. It it makes sense that sixteen like would be six percent, five percent, be one twentieth. So I I'm gonna go, I think I'm just gonna go with my gut and hope I don't shoot myself later. So I'm going to go with 6%. I'm going to lock it in. 6%. When it, whenever I see a, a fraction thing, I always go back to the thing in school about the pie. I, I imagine a piece of pie. So if you had a piece of pie cut four ways, that would be a quarter. A, a 25%, right? Mm. That's one fourth of that is 25%. So if then you half the fourth, that would be one eighth. Mm -hmm. And so instead of 25%, that's 12.5%, right? Right. And then if you half that again, it's instead of 12.5, you have 6.25. Oh no. <sighs> Take a look at the board. <sighs> one sixteenth equals zero six two five six point two five percent so close. Yeah. So close. We've got TJ, out of the subjects on the board, what do you like the best? Math. Math. Oh, let's do it, TJ. Let's go fourth grade math. Fourth grade math. Going to the top. Go fourth grade math. Get it right, you'll have $12,500. Okay. The fourth grade math question is, the numbers 20 and 24 have how many common factors? The numbers 20 and 24 have how many common factors? All right, TJ has locked in his answer. Common factors, I know it's a multiple of a number. Um, I know they both have the common factor of two. Um, they both have the common factor of four. Now, I think that one would be considered a common factor, so I'm trying to juggle between the answers of two or three. Um, I'm going to take a peek at, at TJ's answer over there. OK, peek means you can look at their answer. If you yeah. like it, you can go yeah, with it. I if not, you can go with something else. Two, one, two. I'm going to peek. Peek. Yes. The numbers 20 and 24 have how many common factors? Take a look at the board. TJ said one. One. Man, he really broke that down. Um, 
<laughs> Not sure, but I think I see a little smoke coming out of your left ear. <laughs> I think um, the common factor, 24, 12 times two is 24, five times four is 20. Um, I'm gonna go with TJ's answer and say one. One, walking that in, he's a math whiz. It's his favorite subject, I trust him. I trust you. Common factors are integers that divide evenly into both numbers. You were sitting there talking it out. You said, well, two, because two times 10 was 20, two times 12 is 24. Right. You said four, four times five is 20, four times six is 24, and one. You talked all of that out, and then you saw his answer was one, and you disregarded everything you had just said to me. If you had gone with your answer of three, you would have been right. Unfortunately, one is not the correct answer. It is three. That's 